Fuck, better put that away. Or old matey will come along and try and fuck it. It's like the conch in Lord of the Flies to those bastards. If you haven't read Lord of the Flies, just look around you. We're living it. Yeah. Well, we're living a kind of collaboration between J.G. Ballard, Charlie Brooker, Stanley Kubrick and George Orwell written, scrawled, on the walls of a dank dungeon. Wankers like that just lap it up, though. Wave a flag, throw in a bit of nostalgia, and they'll start calling everything woke, you know? AKA anything that sexually arouses or confuses them. Anyway, welcome to another week on Shit Island. No, really, everything's full of shit. Like Tory MPs, the rivers, everything. Tories are running riot, mate. Spending your nan's hard-earned tax money on class A's and sex workers. Cashing in from their, like, side hustles, which are really their real hustles, you know? Whilst your nan probably freezes to death in her own flat because she can't afford to put on the heat in. Tory MPs are getting caught with their pants down in a number of exposés. Wish it was hyperbole. Wish I was just talking figuratively. But no. One Tory MP woke up naked in a brothel with no clothes. Firstly, who sleeps in a fucking brothel? Secondly, please tell me who that sex worker was because I want to buy them a beer or a dildo. Because nicking their clothes is top tier, frankly. But why the fuck were they in a brothel? Jesus H. Christ, man. Sorry, I know it's the day of the Sky Daddy, but fuck. So yeah, the Overton window, that's getting smaller. Well, I say small. It's currently a tiny air vent in Fred Westminster's sex cellar. So first it was led by donkeys with old chuckles there saying, give me 10 grand and I'll get you Boris Johnson. Don't know about you, but I'd pay 10 grand for Boris Johnson to get the fuck away from me. Ideally fired out of a cannon deep into the drink, you know? Then this milk tray sex pest also asked for 10 grand a day. For what? What's his skill? Looking like a pedo and killing nans. I wish there was just this. But no, there was another one, wasn't there? Scott Benton, a man so thick that his IQ of seven is visible when he speaks. Got caught out by the Times, didn't he? They pretended to work for the gambling industry, went undercover, filmed him, essentially bringing back cash for questions. Retro. What will they bring back next? Child workhouses? Wanking off hysterical women, hopefully. Uh, probably. What? He claimed to give access. Lobby on behalf of them. He's already downplayed the harm of gambling. But what harm does gambling do, really? Well, 175 million gambled in Blackpool in one year. Ten times more betting shops in deprived areas. Deprivation, desperation leads to gambling addiction, obviously. All the Tory MPs are at it. They'd hand their gran over to Hancock for a quick profit. Because they're cunts.